What's up, guys? It's Michelle Marie with Young Hollywood. I am here with the one and only David Lee here at the NBA 2K11 shoot. Getting your acting bug in, aren't you, today? Yeah, switching, switching gears a little bit, doing a little acting rather than uh, playing, and uh, just doing some shooting for commercials and stuff like that. It should be a lot of fun. So how is your chemistry with Rondo and Derek out there? I see a little bromance going on with you guys. We're all three were first-time All-Stars this mm -hmm. year, so we've uh, we've been on the same team enough times that it uh, doesn't hurt doesn't hurt the chemistry because you know we know we played against each other plenty of times, so it's it's not too bad. They're good guys. So tell us what really got you involved with today, because I know you're an avid video game player. I heard that about you. Yeah, I enjoy it. Uh, you know, 2K11 came to me and, and asked if I wanted to be a part of the game and, and being a big video game guy and uh, enjoying that game year in and year out. It's uh, it was a no-brainer, so I'm excited to be here and. Uh, it's kind of fun getting to see behind the scenes how these games are made and how these games are, uh, are executed. After one week of you signing with the Warriors, you hurt your finger and you know Steph Curry was joking saying that the team is cursed. <laughs> <laughs> so how do you feel about what he said and what are you going to do as far as you know recovering from the injury and do we see you going back to uh, camp this season? Oh no, uh, you know it's going to be tough to play in the uh, in the Team USA stuff, especially because you know the Warriors uh, you just signed me to a big contract, and I think then to turn around and, and to, to possibly sacrifice if I re-injure it, uh, having to miss some of the season, that wouldn't be fair to them. So, um, you know, I'm, I'm disappointed to be missing that, but I'm excited for the season. I know that you also recently met Joe Lago in Vegas, so how was that conversation with him? You know, he seems like he's going to be a great owner. He's a guy that is a really nice person uh, and also has a great drive to win, and that's what's important is that I think that you know the indication that Steph Curry and I got is that he's going to you know give us everything he has as far as uh, support, um, you know, moving in the right direction to get this franchise back to where it needs to be, and that's a playoff contender. How much uncertainty is still hanging over the team after the franchise was just sold? Well, I don't think there's going to be that much uncertainty. I mean, um, I know there's going to be a decision like Mr. Lake had said about about uh, the coaching situation, and, uh, and then there's still some players to be added. We still don't have you know 15 guys in the roster right now, so. Uh, there'll be some additions and, and those are things for our ownership to take care of but like I said just the fact that we know that they're committed and that we know that uh, that they're excited about the season that makes us excited so I think there's very good things to come. Tell us how the pick and roll is going to go with you and Steph Curry. Any good plans? Well yeah I think it's going to be a big part of what we do and, and also with Monte Ellis and Beadrins and Jarrell Wright and a lot of guys that are there already um, I think we have a great young core of guys and uh, that's what's most important is a lot of these teams in the West are getting older and I think we're a team that can get you know, better as the years go on and not only be good next year but uh, for many years to come. You've also played your entire NBA career with the Knicks and this is a big change for you. What are you going to do to transition into the new team? Well you know it is going to be a big change moving to a different coast and uh, have a you know, brand new group of players, brand new group of coaches, front office, you name it. So it's going to be a huge adjustment but really my, my whole thing is, is my, my work ethic and, and mm -hmm. the, uh, the passion that I bring to the game and I think that if I stick to that then it will be okay. How do you feel about the league kind of shaking up? I mean, there's so many people saying that the Heat are going to win the title this year. How do you feel about the speculation of that? Well, they have three pretty amazing players on that team. Uh, it's, they, I think they have to be considered, along with the Lakers, the front runners to do that. Um, but, you know, there's a lot of teams that, that I think have improved. I think the Eastern Conference has gotten a lot stronger. Mm -hmm. um, and it's just going to be, you know, interesting to see how everything shakes out. You know, the biggest part with all these superstars being on the same teams is how they come together chemistry-wise. So Thanks. I'm looking forward to, to watching those situations as well as uh, continuing to improve our own. This is David Lee, now of the Golden State Warriors. Thank you for the support. Look forward to a great upcoming season.